Hey, Marcus and Steve over here at Bailey Tolliver RV. Marcus, tell me, what do you got for us today? Man, this is a great floor plan. This is, we just got it in literally three hours ago. Made it clean it up real quick so we get out here and show it. This is a Keystone Springdale Mini, but this is something we've never seen before. This is a 1790 FQ. Okay. FQ is front queen. Okay. We've had the 1700 FQ, but there's something special about this one I got to show you as we go around. I'll tell you what the difference is between a 1700 and a 1790. Okay. Usual suspects that we always have on the minis. So crank manual jack, huge pass through underneath. But four of the uh, manual jacks on this is compared to just two on a, uh, a lot of the, a lot of the other ones, ones are going to be front stable, our rear stabilizers in the front. They're just going to use just the tongue, front jack. tongue jack as a stabilizer, which is not much of a stabilizer. Nice, great big awning you can see here, out eight feet. I mean, you got plenty of shade down in here. You do. One step, which is plenty to get in there. I like grab this instead of the little small yep. handle on it. You know, they say that, you know, aluminum skinned and little minis like this are entry level cheapo trailers. If this is an entry level, I'm gonna call it a mid to high end entry level trailer because there's so many features on it. Well, like I will say there are some entry level single axle mini trailers on the market. It just doesn't happen to come from Keystone. Okay? Keystone doesn't know what entry level is. This is entry level into a Keystone. Eight foot wide. Eight foot wide, not seven foot. If you're walking inside a Viking, oh my gosh. That is pretty tight in there. They give you a bumper rather than and, no and bumper. Unlike tire. a lot of people, we think it's worth the three hundred and fifty dollars to order the spare tire. I'm not getting caught on the road in the middle of nowhere in Texas and not being able to have a spare tire. Okay, but again, one of the things that you like, really like to put on is something about this. My tankless water heater. I'm telling you, and I tell you like I told the customer picked up just a little bit ago. As long as you have propane, and as long as you got water. And as long as you got your gray water open. <laughs> you got hot water. Oh, you can do it with the gray water closed, but you're gonna get some nice water around your feet. There is a plug on the back, so if you are at a park that has satellite, or cable, you can plug into the back of the trailer that makes your outlets on the inside live. Got your gray and black gray tank, and black flush tanks. right there. Everything's right, right available. Fresh water connection, city water connection. Man, I'm glad we Low got these drip rails on here all the time too, so it's not just dripping down on your head all the time. You do have a wire for solar on top. It's already pre-wired, but I've also got solar on the side. So if you want to do like a little suitcase solar. It's like if you're storing it inside, you can store it inside. Storage. Or if you're even camping out under the trees, you're not getting enough sunlight, you can put it on the side there. So you, instead of just having, you can put solar yeah, on top, okay. you can put solar on the side either way. It just makes it easier on the side. Great. Well, let's go inside and take a look at the inside because there's something I really want to show you that is completely different than what we've had before in these little minutes. Okay, let's go inside. Let's get this thing figured out here. All right, as we come into here, oh, first of all, I notice headroom. Oh, yeah. Plenty of headroom. And hey, look at this. Plus, it's got that little. I can panel. go through the door. <laughs> just, you know, just. I've been through some of these little bitty ones, and their doors are about this tall, and you wind up with these nice scars on the top of your head from catching that metal. So I don't like doing that. Now, I had a customer the other day, and I've already sent her an email on this one. You know what she told me she wanted? She wanted a mini one of the little single axles. She wanted it to have a slide, but, but she wanted it to have a north-south bed. With her and her husband, she has to sleep on the right side, which puts her against the bed on the east very, west bed. Very rare but to now, have a uh, I walk around on both sides. Bed. I go both ways, so either, by, either one person can get up in the middle of the night and go to the bathroom if they need to. 8,000 BTU AC. It, which, as you can tell out. people standing in here, yeah, turn that down a little bit. It's nice and cold in here. I think you got to set it, it on 68. Man. Oh, you can adjust uh, where you, you can want to. can adjust the, the flow. It's oh, great. Wow. Okay, so if you want it on you at night, you can have it here. Put it over here. Hanging wardrobes on both sides. Both sides right? You know, a lot of these minis will have one on one side right. or none at all. They just have the shelf. This one, I get one on either side, plus I get the shelf. So not only do I have two hanging wardrobes, shelf for storage. Probably, I've got a north probably, shelf bed. You probably don't have any storage. Well, here we go. Look at that. Now, one side obviously is finished off because that's where one of your tanks are. But I've got storage down under here. I've got the big storage out front that I showed you. In the slide there. Oh, look at this. Two couple, drawers couple underneath of drawers. I mean, and plenty of room to get up there and sit down. I mean, eat your dinner if you want to. Play some cards. Play some dominoes. Nice big window so you can see it out. I mean. Imagine sitting up there in Colorado and, and looking out over the mountains while you're sitting there eating a little bit of dinner. I'm telling you, I like this. And I still have 
Nice storage underneath the sink. Two drawers on guides that come all the way out. Two burner cooktop. Nice sink. And even though I'm in a mini, as you called a entry level trailer, I'm still solid wood on the cabinet. I mean, you can't beat that. And there's not, I don't see any staples. It's not staple. It's, it's brewed and screwed. Microwave. I don't have an oven in this one, but you know, let's face it, you're going camping nine times out of 10, you're either gonna cook outdoors or you're gonna bring something in because nobody wants to cook while they're on vacation, do you? No. I don't like cooking when I'm not on vacation, but sure not when I'm on vacation. Well, the other thing about it is this refrigerator. It's not the little small one that normally comes in. A lot of the minis empty. are this little bitty small one, and yeah. in most brands, that is gonna be the RV fridge. That's just a refrigerator. So it's just a refrigerator, and it's about six cubic feet. Oh no, they're, they're smaller than that, Marcus. I think they're 3.5. But look at this. What's this one, eight cubic feet? No, this is 10.8 uh, cubic feet. Look how big that is. And then I do like the fact that I have a full width bathroom. A lot of these little small ones, you got one little bathroom tucked in a corner over here, but I've got a nice big shower. I've still got a nice commode. I've got a sink. I've got storage underneath of it. I mean, what else could you want in one? That's it. That's got it all. Man, for a weekender or a week-long trip for yeah. a couple, this is amazing trailer. It's just got so much more to it that I really, I'm digging on this. I, I am a lot. Well, listen, folks, we appreciate you bringing us into the house, learning a little bit about this brand new floor plan. I'm, I'm excited about it. North, South Bed, and a mini, and a slide. Yep. I mean, I got, what else could you ask for? Large bag of $100 bills. It was under the bed. <laughs> if you didn't see it, David must have taken it. So, All right. Well, thanks for coming out and visiting with us just a little bit. My name is Marcus. And I'm Steve. And together we, we are, are the RV Ninjas. Ninjas.